On the north side of Moab, you can take Highway 279. There is a large amount of sheer rock cliffs where there's a lot of rock climbers. It follows the river and then there's some campgrounds and then we came around the bend and we're gonna hike to some arches that are outside of the national park. So in honor of the pandemic, we're gonna hike to Corona Arch. Okay, it starts out with a really steep incline and then it levels off up here. And there's a notice up here that roped activities are restricted, such as zip lining. Maybe that includes like rock climbing or something. Climbing, rappelling, and rope swinging, yes. Those are all not allowed along this hike. There's a fair amount of people here today. This is apparently an active railroad crossing. It does say stop, look, and listen. So difficult to predict the weather around here now that the sun's out and we're a little lower in elevation closer to Moab it's quite warm so and it always helps whenever you're hiking up a steep hill you warm up real quick too notice the green lines paving the way if there wasn't a crowd of people you could just follow these little green painted markings telling you which way to walk which I appreciate because I'm known to get lost what a great idea That's so fun. that looks like a ton of fun for dad and son you got pick for one We come around this bend, more of the green markings. Oh yes, this I did read about. There is a little chain here to hold on to if we need to. As Brian says, I should put down the freaking camera and pay attention. Let's take in the views for a moment before I put the camera away. It's gorgeous. I think this means we're close. Yep, it's right there. It's actually, this is nothing compared to what we went through at Arches. Yeah. If you haven't seen my Arches video, I'll link to it right here for Arches National Park. The double O hike had a lot of crazy scrambling. And I see it, I see it up above. Hey, cute doggy. Now there's a whole bunch of them saying, hey, this is the spot, man. Wow. Oh, it looks like the kids are building some more. Everyone's building one. We've got two arches. I think one's right here. One's right here. Okay, so this is interesting. This trail, I guess you're supposed to follow the cable up the hill. Steep one. Going down, I'm not so sure. That's tough. That I think that's gonna be tough getting down. There may be some sliding on my butt in my future. So when we went to Arches National Park, the delicate arch trail was a really tiny parking lot. So we couldn't find a parking space and there were just loads and loads and loads of people. So we decided to pass on that hike. And honestly, if you're in the same situation and you have extra time, based on what I saw, because I did see Delicate Arch from a distance from one of the viewpoints, I would say that this 
is way cooler. Just the grand scale of this and the multiple arches. So anyway, that's my recommendation. If you'd like to see my video on Arches National Park or any of the things we visited in Moab, I'll have a link down below. So I'd appreciate a big thumbs up for this one. This is incredible. You definitely don't want to forget your sunglasses, water, or a hat on this trail. With all this barren rock, it is hot and bright, and of course I'm wearing black. But, again, I'm hiking this in March, and it's maybe in the 50s. It was freezing up at Dead Horse State Park earlier this morning, and now I'm sweating. So, always dress in layers up here. And we're getting closer. The sheer grandness of scale of this place does not seem real. Um, it's just a really trippy on your perspective. On the GoPro, it's the wide screen, the wide lens, so it doesn't look, everything looks farther away. But can you see the little people underneath there? It's awesome. We're climbing up. Here we go. <laughs> it looks like there's a train track that goes right through there. That's interesting. Okay, I gotta lean in on this part. It seems we took the steeper route to the arch. Uh-uh, that's not good. No, I really don't. Okay. You got it. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't good, my shoe was on a sandy spot. We're going back the less steep way. But here we are! Oh. <laughs> Hopefully, you can see that I made it to this amazing arch. This is for you, Corona. We made it to Corona Arch. All right, we're going through the arch. Here we go. Old knees, here we go. Okay, so here's the thing. If you see the video that I took from Arches National Park, there was a long, and I mean a long line of people waiting for the Delicate Arch. And here, there's maybe five groups of people up here, but it's so big that they're spread way apart and you don't have to wait to get an incredible shot of the arch all to yourself for Instagram. So, I recommend this place. Huh?